shops. Illegal weed shops. Illegal pot shops. Not so fast. Illegal stores. Illegal smoke shops. Those illegal shops. A uh, grocery store, and, and a couple of weeks later, it turns into a smoke shop, right? If you live in New York City, you probably have seen one of these many smoke shop convenience stores around. Many of these places are now targets of investigation. You might be wondering why. The new local law 107 of 2023 in New York City is a regulation aimed at addressing the increase of illegal unlicensed smoke shops, particularly those selling marijuana and tobacco products. The law holds commercial landlords responsible for renting these storefronts to unlicensed businesses. And in short, under the new law, landlords cannot knowingly lease to unlicensed marijuana or tobacco sellers. The landlords will first get a written warning and then the big fines begin. But does this mean anything to the renters? I wanted to see how those shops, without being a complete narc, felt about this. So I went around the East Village. Hi. This is a random question, but I'm doing a documentary for my class. I'm just wondering if I can interview any of you guys. Hi. I'm doing a documentary um, for my school. I was just wondering if I can interview you. Interview me? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Uh, I, I actually, I'm not interested to be honest. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. It was just like, mm -hmm. would you want to? I don't have to film your face or anything. Okay. How long have you guys been open? Probably for like five months. It's almost. Uh... Eight years. Been open for like a year. Since like 2017. Are you guys considered a smoke shop or like a convenience store? It's a convenience store. It's both. Smoke shop. Teenage. No, I don't think it's that convenient to be honest. No. What are your thoughts about all the other like emerging smoke shops around the East Village? There are many smoke shops. Everyone is they are doing the same. Good business. Good business? Yeah. It is a lot. Like they push it in everybody's face. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how you feel like in every block there's a smoke yeah. shop. Uh, when I walk around I see a lot, but like they're not. I think of this like as a, like a like a tobacco smoke shop. The other ones are like more into like weed and other stuff. With all the smoke shops around and all this illegal smoke shops crackdowns, are you scared about your smoke shop being a target or anything? Nothing. We already have everything. We have the license. We are legalized. Because we, one has to get the license, you know, the to license. run the business over here. Yeah. But they are not. With them. They are not. They doesn't have any license. No, this shop we're good because we don't tend to like go into stuff like that. We sell disposables, we sell uh, cigars, pipes. But I'm sorry, I'm taking out the whole car right now. But yeah, we we're not really into the the drug business now. Yeah, what's it? What can we do? Sometimes I'm scared that when I think about it, because like, like it's people are spending money mm -hmm. on to open a store like that and the rent, especially here, the rent is high. Yeah. Someone is like, if it comes illegal, so he can sell some, what well, a smoke shop is supposed to sell. Mm -hmm. Because it's hard to get a license sometimes. A license, yeah. Yeah, so it's like, people just get, like, they're going to lose money for yeah. facts. Or some, yeah, some people, they just sell illegal stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. Not here. We're not, we're not trying to go like that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you, you, like some legal, hard illegal stuff. Like mushrooms and stuff like that. I don't know if you heard about mushrooms. <laughs> Thank you. From the renters, they all claim to be licensed or legal according to themselves. It's hard to determine if this law is beneficial or not. Enforcing Local Law 107 is undeniably in the best interest of New York City. The estimated 8,000 illegal smoke shops not only undermine the city's potential tax revenues and community reinvestment funds generated by the 13% tax on legal sales, but also pose significant health risks to the consumers due to the lack of regulation. Whether it's a good idea or not remains uncertain. If you're tired of smoke shops invading your New York City neighborhood, just keep in mind that when buying from your convenience bodega smoke shop whatever store, you should think about what you're really purchasing.